Good afternoon, my name is Jackson, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how words affect us. To start off, I'd like to tell you a little story. So if you'd all please close your eyes and imagine with me. Now imagine a beautiful green field with sunshine and some fluffy white clouds and hundreds of bunny rabbits hopping around. Some of them are playing tag, some of them are running races, some of them are just napping in the sun. They're hopping around in the field. Now don't think of a lion in the middle of your field chasing the bunny rabbits around. No, just think of the bunny rabbits. Just think of the bunny rabbits hopping around. Don't think of a lion chasing your bunny rabbits around. Okay. You can open your eyes. Raise your hand if you thought of a lion. That's right. You did think of a lion. You can't stop it from happening. Mm, nope, nope. I told you don't think of a lion. Why did you think of a lion? The human brain doesn't respond to negative commands like don't. This is important to understand. We should always reach our goals by using positive words. For example, this one here could, shouldn't be saying, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. Because what his brain is actually hearing is, I want to lose. I want to lose. He should actually be saying, I want to win. I want to win. Words of mean things. They have connotations. What are connotations? The emotional meanings that we attach to words. They describe the way we feel about something based on what we call it. For example, this little girl right here could be called any number of things. A child, a brat, a kid, or a bug rat. If I called her a child, you would probably feel okay about her. If I called her a brat, you probably wouldn't feel so good about her. Words affect how we feel. Has anyone ever said these words to you? You're stupid. You're ugly. I hate you. You have no friends. How do they make you feel? We're all not very good. What about these words? You're beautiful. I love you. You're special. You're smart. How they make you feel? Probably pretty good. I'd like to share with you a little experiment I did with water. But first, how much water is in the human body? In kids, up to 75% water. In adults, it's up to 60%. And in the elderly, it's up to 50%. We have water in our cells, our tissues, and our organs. My hypothesis was that water exposed to beautiful and nice words would form beautiful and nice crystals, and water exposed to ugly and hurtful words would form ugly and gross crystals. So to start off, we took identical jars and put of identical water. Then we labeled them. Then I told them what they said every day. You the nice words. I love you. You're beautiful. You're special. You are the ugly words. I hate you. You made me sick. You're so ugly. We also exposed them to different types of music, such as Beethoven, Mozart, and death metal. Then after a month, we took a drop of water out of um, each of the slides and, and put them on the slides. Then we put them in the freezer and froze them. This is what they looked like under a microscope. This was, I love you. You're beautiful. You're special. I hate you. You make me sick. You're so ugly. Beethoven. And Beethoven is one of my favorites because look at the perfect circles in the circles. Mozart. Death metal. This is just them all put together so you can see them. My hypothesis was right. Water exposed to beautiful and nice words would form beautiful and good crystals, and water exposed to ugly and hurtful words would form ugly and gross crystals. If our bodies are with the 75% water, what do you think words are doing to us? You should always say nice words to yourself and be nice to your friends. 
Rem- think back to the story of the field and the bunny rabbits. And remember that the human brain and remember that the brain doesn't respond to negative commands. Remember that we should always reach our goals by using positive words. Thank you.